Yeah, company is profitable. We've raised $160 million from investors like LVMH, um, Baidu from China, Yao Japan in Japan, Comcast in America. And uh, most of the money we've ever raised is still in the bank. We reach according to Comscore. Comscore measures how many people companies reach. So Facebook reaches more than us, but we're second to Facebook. We reach 1 billion people every month. The average American sees Tabula about 70 times every month. Um, and on a monthly basis, we get about 1.1 billion clicks. So going back to why Tabula exists, so Tabula exists to connect people with information they may like and never knew existed. The point is that we have about 5 million pieces of content, and based on what you're reading and clicking on, we're supposed to recommend you things. I, I worry about my readings. So I'm, I'm not going to go there. But you know, we have, obviously, I think we have, we have a lot of innovation to keep investing in. We're working very hard on indexing more and more content. And it's supposed to be based on what you and people like you do. We see what you read for really what you, what you read. We know what you read, Frederick. So we see what you read, what you're clicking on. And based on that, we're trying to get an image about who you really are. So I think we have um, you know, a small advantage, which is authenticity. Uh, versus an image of who I want to be. Um, and that's the differentiation we have from social companies. So we're giving data to publishers for free. We're giving them tools to make even more money. Um, and editorial tools, so people like you and in general audiences will be happy with what they're seeing. So we're giving those, that data for free to publishers so they can grow their business and, again, compete with the real challenge I think faces publishers, which is Facebook and companies like that.